Welcome back. The Honolulu Museum of Art has added a new exhibition that focuses on Asian art. The collection spans more than two centuries, and our own John Veneri went to find out more about it. We're with Catherine and Sean in a gallery that we're about to find out all about. So thank you guys for allowing me in here, turning on the lights and have a camera. So appreciate that. Thanks for coming. Tell us what we're, uh, what's behind us and what we're in. Yes, this is Gallery 3. Um, we always have Japanese art, usually from our permanent collection. And this is a special exhibition of almost a dozen works from our permanent collection on the subject of Japanese design, Rinpa. And Japanese design really influenced a lot of global aesthetics and art, um, mostly in the 19th and 20th century, but it shows its long influence over Western art as well as Eastern art. That's a mouthful. Yeah. But really easy to say, so thank you, I appreciate that. But I would love for, uh, to know what Rinpa it means exactly. Rinpa was an artistic movement that infused artistry into every aspect of daily life. It developed a unique aesthetic that focuses on features such as asymmetry, uh, innovative combinations of colors, semi-abstraction, and layering of contrasting patterns. They, they are very familiar to me because I've seen some of these things around my, my, uh, my grandparents' house. Um, and so they, it is very beautiful. I know you have a lot of this type of art. Can you tell us a little bit more about the art um, here at Homa like this? Absolutely. Um, I think this screen that's behind us is a perfect example of the Rimpa movement. Uh, it's actually painted by the movement's uh, founder and the, who the movement takes its name from, a man named Ogata Korin. Uh, it's a perfect example of how you see asymmetry. Uh, typically in a painting, you'll normally think that the main subject would be right in the middle of the painting, but in fact, he's pushed it to the edges and you'll notice that the uh, middle of the painting is completely blank in this screen. So it's a very innovative kind of design. You guys always have something uh, really special here at the, the, uh, at the museum. Any other exhibitions that are coming up soon? Absolutely. We are always changing our galleries, so there's always something new to see. We have galleries dedicated to Korea, China, Japan, Buddhist art, Islamic art, India, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. And we have a, a wonderful collection in each one of those areas. And of course, you guys always have something fun going on here, day and night, plenty of food, lots of fun for family. Uh, where can folks find out all of what's going on here? Yeah, you can go online to honolulumuseum.org and it will list all of our programs and coming exhibitions. It's a fun place. They like hanging out and uh, I like hanging out with them. It really is a nice, uh, it's a nice ex uh, exhibition. The art mm -hmm. is beautiful. It, it kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that my grandmother, my grandma Lily had on the Big Island in her living room. It's, it's, uh, it's really nice. I suggest seeing it in person. Uh, the detail is incredible. And I really like the way um, the art has kind of been pushed to the sides of the canvas. It's not in the middle. Uh, and it really does allow for great selfies. Couldn't yeah. have our light on for very long, but it is a very nice exhibition. Yes, it looked very cool. And yes, it reminded me a lot of the stuff that I see at our grandparents' house, this old art. Right. And yeah, uh, learning more about Rimpa art was very interesting, too. So yeah. go check out that over at the Honolulu Museum of Art. So good stuff. Yeah. Great interview. Thank you, John.